hey y'all welcome back to the channel so i'm glad you were able to come in this is so important um let this serve as a warning to you all because what i'm about to say will have many people in their feelings and in the comments saying that oh she is fear-mongering again be it as whatever you may want to say or call it you are welcome to do your own research. I encourage you to do your own research. I did not want to have to come and do this video. But what's happening right now, a lot of people said this was not going to happen, that we would not be going under a lockdown again and saying that they're not going to do a lockdown again. Are you ready? are you ready for what is happening are you prepared have you been stocking up do you have what you need in your home if what is happening right now ends up in your state in your city or in your town as it is in four towns right now in the united states what am i referring to you guys before we get into it hit that like button, share the video out so more people will know that this is happening. This is serious. This is fatal. This could cost you your life. And so a lot of people will also say, these are signs. These are signs. They're in the Bible. So let's get into what exactly is going on now. Four towns right now in Northeast that are under a lockdown thanks to a mosquito borne disease. I have a video I wanna show you guys. And I also have, there is an, a very famous doctor who came out in 2020 talking about the pandemic that was also affected by this whole mosquito borne disease that is fatal. So four towns in Northeast are under lockdown thanks to a mosquito-borne disease. These Massachusetts towns went under voluntary evening lockdown. This is an attempt to limit the spread of the potentially fatal disease. So right now they're saying that this is a voluntary lockdown. But if this does not get under control, you guys, voluntary will turn into forced lockdown. Do you recall the forced lockdowns that we had that first week that they said we had nothing to worry about, came back three days later and said, we have a lot to worry about and we're going to close everything down until we figure something out. We don't know what's around the corner. These, these are the reasons why we need to be stocking up. So the four towns are Douglas, Oxford, Sutton, and Webster. Recently, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health said that it's the first time the state has seen the disease since 2020. As part of the lockdown, officials are urging people to stay indoors starting at 6 p.m. After October 1st, they're going to push that time back to 5 p.m. You will have to be on lockdown. This will last until the first hard frost of the season. It is the Board of Health's responsibility to protect the public health, they say. And we take EEE -E -E very seriously. And we are strongly encouraging residents to follow these recommendations due to the severity of the EEE and the fact that it is in our community. A spokesperson for the town of Oxford told the New York Post this. Like, a, like I said, do your own research. I'm just giving you the news that's out here. So far this year in Massachusetts, there have only been one human case of EEE. But throughout the state, mosquitoes have tested positive for this. According to officials, the lockdowns are a recommendation. They won't be enforced. And then they have in parentheses, we want to educate our residents about EEE and the seriousness of the illness and make them aware of the risk. This is code for this is not forced right now. But if things get worse, 
It will be. So prepare yourself. This is a pre preparation for you to be prepared to stay in your home again. However, if they want to use the town fields outside these recommendations, they will have to show proof of insurance and sign an indemnification form. So you're going to have to show proof of insurance, I guess ID of your residency as well, if you want to go outside the town that has this um, lockdown in place. The mosquito virus causes a host of symptoms, including fever, seizures, diarrhea, and drowsiness. It can be fatal with 30% of people dying. Symptoms appear between five to 10 days after your mosquito bite. Eastern equine um, encephalitis can cause brain infection, which can be fatal. So far, there is no treatment. So if that was the question that you had, there is no treatment. These viral encephalitides have no treatment. So prevention and supportive care is the only course of action. And I guess the only way you can prevent it is to stay your behind locked up indoors. So I have another article here that I want to share with you, but first, Let's see what they are talking about right here. Before I do, let me make sure I put my banner up. In areas of high and critical risk, we really want people to be thoughtful about when they time their outdoor activities. Mosquito activity, feeding activity really peaks at dusk and dawn. I tell you, the people who test things and whatnot and sign up to agree to have these things biting them is unbelievable. So while you're outside, guys, please be careful. And I'm hearing stories about um, this was a man-made situation. I don't want to get into conspiracy theories, but how I heard about it is from my husband yesterday. He was like, have you heard about the mosquitoes that are, you know, infected and um, that it was done in a lab? And I'm like, no, I have not heard. Um, I've heard some things, but not about this recent thing, um, because I did do a video last year or the year before concerning them releasing mosquitoes that had some kind of thing in them. So um, let me find this other video for y'all. And about the doctor who now has some issues with this whole thing that's happening right now in these towns. So the plot thickens, y'all. The plot thickens. Hold on, let me take this banner off. I mean, we, we need to be preparing. This may not be the only thing. Our very own Dr. Fauci, the former director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, is recovering from the mosquito-based West Nile virus after being hospitalized this month, according to multiple outlets. So I'm going to say allegedly falling victim to a mosquito season that has, has, has been multiplying. And this mosquito season has impacted hundreds of people and even managed to provoke public park shutdowns in Massachusetts, as well as those lockdowns I just got to telling y'all about. It says that Fauci, who is expected to make a full recovery, is recovering from the West Nile virus at home after he was hospitalized by the disease for six whole days, y'all. The Washington Post reported, noting the illness is capable of causing symptoms such as fever, rash, body aches, and diarrhea, and has no vaccines or treatments. So what were they giving him, I wonder? 16 human cases of this West Nile virus have been reported so far this year. 
And that's according to the CDC with the highest concentration of cases reported in Texas, 37 cases. About 80% of people who contracted the virus will not develop any symptoms with pro approximately one of the 150 infections leading to serious illness for the average person and around one in 50 infections leading to serious illness for high risk populations. Another more lethal mosquito-borne illness known as Eastern equine, which I just got through telling y'all about, um, was contracted by a elderly man in Oxford, Massachusetts, provoking state health officials to raise the EEE risk levels to critical in the communities of Douglas, Oxford, Sutton, and Webster. I already told you about that. And high in Dudley, Northbridge, and Uxbridge. The symptoms include fever, headache, diarrhea, vomiting, behavioral changes, and drowsiness as the illness kills approximately 30% of the people who contract it, according to the CDC, which notes the rare but serious illness can cause neurological problems in the survivors. All right, folks, we have a deadly mosquito infestation supposedly in Massachusetts, and the path of Massachusetts is supposed to be on lockdown because of this deadly 30% death rate, kill rate in the mosquito bite, literally in a mosquito bite. So here we go. Uh, pestilence, the beginning of the days of sorrow, all things that Christ talked about are happening right as we speak. So you spread mosquitoes out there. And it's also been found that there's been mechanical mosquitoes found with numbers tattooed on their uh, body. So Massachusetts on lockdown because of a viral disease infection of mosquitoes. So, so we got COVID, we got monkeypox, we got, of course, we always have the flu. We have mosquito-borne diseases now. We have so many things. And um, if it didn't come from a lab, question I have is, is it something that can travel within a human who is entering and leaving the country back and forth, back and forth to these different places and bringing back these illnesses? So again, let me know what you think in the comments please hit that like button. Make sure you share this video out. This is a warning that we need to be preparing because whether it's man-made or not man-made, there are so many things that are happening that could stunt us where we are, that could shut things down, that could make the supply chain go back to where it was before, where the shelves are empty. We already know the possibility of empty shelves are coming because farmers are warning us that it's coming, that certain fruits and vegetables will be in short supply and the ones that are there will be marked up due to the short supply. So. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and you guys, I will see you in the next video.